Shares, Stephen, initially rose this morning, but now the, there's, uh, I, I guess, investors are, you know, concerned or looking at a couple of other things. Yeah, I mean, we saw the, the highest quarterly revenue under Bill Winters, you know, former boss of J.P. Morgan's investment bank. Um, who's been in charge since June 2015. So initially the shares jumped up on optimism. They may hit targets. They have a bit of momentum behind their income growth. But then as the day came on and the CFO spoke a bit more to investors, they revealed that costs may actually rise this year, which has been a perennial issue for them, both in terms of restructuring and um, imp implementing compliance systems to stop the mistakes of the past happening again. So we've seen a swing in the share price. It's now down about 2.5%. And all the same concerns about the stability and growth uh, growth of Standard Charter really remain. What are they saying about the outlook? Well, um, it appears a, a big chunk of their gains in the first half of the year was this volatility in markets. It's about, uh, you know, uh, almost a fifth of their revenue comes from their trading business. And whilst that was very good in January and February, they said the conditions subsided, much like the other global investment banks. So really, we're looking at other things like cash management, transaction services, the more sort of bread and butter banking that it does. And whilst there was good growth in Asia, we are still seeing them fall short of what they need to to hit their already fairly modest return on equity targets. I mean, are there any culture problems remaining at the bank? This is something that we've seen also at, you know, other UK banks. What are you looking, you know, in the next couple of quarters? Well, in the summer of 2016, Bill Winters started a massive campaign to try and clean up some of the behaviour within Standard Chartered. And it appears some of that still hasn't got through. The bank recently had to place its head of compliance, global head of compliance, on leave for our allegations including harassment. So, I mean, quite clearly the message hasn't got through. And um, when asked to comment about it on it today, they said this was a central part of their turnaround yep. of the bank. It isn't just about the numbers and the bottom line. It's also about changing the mindset. So hopefully they'll make some headway on that as well.